Oh, it's slurp slurp time, boy. Yeah. Sean, why are you drinking Diet Coke, huh? What are you, huh? You're not drinking normal Coke. What's wrong with you? Listen, all right? We all have our preferences, okay? We all have our preferences. It's a zero-calorie drink, and it's quite tasty. Coke, please sponsor me. Please give me loads of money. I, I need... I, I like money. Sean, why are you, why are you slurping, huh? What's, what's all this slurping about, huh? When you, when you, how, how does it relate to Pokemon, eh? Well, I want to give a quick shout-out to Rogue Plays gaming he actually provided me this deck on stream and to be fair it's a pretty solid rogue deck all things considered it has all the components for a rogue deck so i thought hang on this is perfect for the channel so i wanted to cover it and show it to you guys and i hope you will enjoy it because to be honest it's pretty fun to play so why are we slurping because we're playing slurp puff <laughs> it ran out of breath so, if you don't know what this card does, it does a sweet panic attack, which is 110 for a single energy, which is pretty solid already. And um, basically, it has the side effect that if you have active Pokemon, <laughs> English, if your opponent's active Pokemon isn't confused, this attack does nothing. So, how do we work around that? Well, we play the Tapu Lele Magina combo. Magina allows you to take a tool card off of one of your Pokemon once um, during your turn. And Lele. If you attach a fairy charm to which you can leave your active opponent's Pokemon um, confused. God, why I can't speak today. My mouth goes for surface here. We want to be able to do nice, simple, high damage, building up with Parasect for a single energy on a rogue single prize card. So it's pretty solid, and uh, I really wanted to play it and see how it goes. So um, let's let's go, boy. Are you looking for Pokemon codes? If so, please check out pdcgostore.com and use the code FTW for 5% off at checkout. What a deal. They always have sales, of course, which is great uh, for when you're looking around and trying to snack some packs up to build that collection that you're looking for. If you do have the finances and you are able to do so, please do visit ptcgostore.com to grab yourself some codes. With that all said, though, of course, please do enjoy the video. Okay, it's another time, baby. Yeah. All right, so I've been testing a lot of decks. So uh, the, the deck I'm coming up against here, it's a complete wild card, if I'm honest with you. We're starting based on Rogue Suggestion. Um, considering we're evolution, I'm assuming that makes a lot of sense. So we'll, we'll start. We'll definitely start. Now, this hand's actually okay. Um, it's... Yeah, I can understand why Research really isn't the card that wants to be played in this deck. Because we don't want to ditch our Slurplus and stuff. It's really hard to really manage that. Um, let's just put the Paris up front for now. Um, yeah, we're going to have to ditch this hand. But I've got Rod in the deck and stuff, which is good. So that's that's useful. I think the list he originally gave me didn't have Rod. Um, so yeah, as I said, this is kind of like a, a slightly different list. It's got a few more things in there that kind of match the meta, I would say. Um, all things considered. So what is it? Lapras VMAX. And okay, this is an interesting one. This is an interesting one, to say the least. So we'll put that on the Paris there. We are going first. I don't need to be so crazy here, actually. But I don't want to lose this Paris. So I'm going to bench the Mew. Uh, not having a Swirly at the start is going to come back to bite me, I think. It depends how quickly um, this fella sets up here. Yeah. If it's Blastoise, I, I, I get it. I get it, trust me. <laughs> I get this. Now, that's that's a very debatable question. Obviously, Blastoise is stage 2, and stage 2 really isn't in a good spot right now, let's be real. But there's definitely things that you can use to really help you out. Oranguru is great, because if you're about to go for, like, a Marnie... Cynthia? Uh, I wouldn't play Cynthia in stage 2 decks now. I would go for Marnie and Research, because if you have a rare candy in hand and you need to Marnie or something, you can use Oranguru to put the rare candy on top of the deck, so you guarantee the rare candy in hand and whatever you get, although you're only seeing technically 4 new cards technically for you gods um you're at least guaranteeing yourself the red candy and whatever it may be uh don't attack jesus christ <laughs> i need to bench a swirly there we go there's your swirly there we go um all right let's do that and we will i'm going to <laughs> this is weird but i'm going to attack with the mew until it goes down Actually, no, that's a lie. Yes. Yes, I am, actually. No. Yes. Yes. Because I want to I wanna bench two of them, just in case there's a gust, and then that's that's just problems, man. That's just that's just problems I don't want to see. Uh, let's not energy spinner now. I think we just attached the turn, so let's just do that, and we'll just put damage on the on the, on the Lapras. We're obviously going to be attacking that later on, so there's that. Um, yeah, I, yeah. I need a bench spot for the Magina, obviously, to, to use the combo. But maybe, I don't know. 
Maybe I bench the Oracorio too aggressively, but it's kind of a big component in the deck. It really helps you see cards um, that you might not see. Also, I'm so happy with these new artworks, man. I'm like, I'm so, so gassed with the new Dedenne GX. I, I love it. It's an incredible artwork. Um, and I know it's technically, it's far less valuable than the original Dedenne, I assume. I think it's going for like, in real life, going for like five pounds on eBay, the promo, which is great for people who want to play the game and kind of keep it on the cheap. Fantastic. Because it really means you've got one of the bit like one of the biggest components to a deck available to you now very cheaply, um, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, I just I just love the artwork. I just I'm in love with the artwork and I'm, I'm happy with it. Okay, so it went down fantastic. We can actually we can almost get everything we need with the Rosa. <laughs> okay, I have a choice here. I can Marnie and then Oracorio, or I can Oracorio and Rosa. What I need is a Pokemon. I need two Pokemon actually. That's the problem. And a Rosa won't get me. A Rosa will. No. I need a Pokemon, a tool card, and an energy. I need, obviously, an en uh, energy card I can get anyway, but I have to get the energy. The tool card I need is to activate the combo so I can hit good damage onto the Lapras. And I also need two Pokemon, Magina and Slurpee. So, the problem here is I'm not guaranteeing that. That's a problem. I technically will be fine, actually, playing the Oracorio now, because I'm still seeing fresh cards each time. So I'm going to play the Oracorio now. That solved a lot of issues. Yes. Yes. Rosa time. Yeah. So originally in this list, because I have altered it uh, based on what I have and what I don't have. I only have one Rosa, which is strange. I know. Um, but this deck actually plays three, which makes sense. Obviously, you can Oracorio to draw Rosa to get your stuff that you need um, as your opponent plays. It's really solid, actually. Um, but I've decided to go for one Rosa, more draw support and stuff like that, Poke Gears and that stuff, just to try and boost its consistency and also have a bit of variance to the deck. Um, like the original list didn't play Mew and stuff like that, and I thought, hang on, with Pika Rom, you kind of need to do that, um, especially with an Oracorio in your deck. Um, right, let's let's chit chat now. Let's let's do this. Let's get the Rosa. We need Magirna. We need one of the charms doesn't really matter does it no so we'll just get this and we'll get an energy energy yeah not really needed but hey there we go all right baby combo time combo time let's go slurpy gorgeous bang now the question is do they have tool scrapper <laughs> I'm going to predict them having a Marnie. I think that they, they're more like most decks are more likely to have Marnies, considering most decks are playing four Marnies, four Marnies now. Marnies. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, we're just going to hold it there. There we are. Nice. So that's actually 130, which is nice. So 130 for a single energy, solid. Plus a Confusion, absolutely solid. They're kind of forced to retreat. Now they can... Because obviously they got Blastoise, so they don't really need to worry so much about energies. Um, but forcing them to retreat, mate, that's fine. And we've got four Poke Kids in this deck, so we can really dig for our bosses' orders and stuff if need be. I thought the Poke Kids were necessary because there are definitely times where you're going to be dead drawing. We don't want that. So I've added Poke Kids in here. And I get to play the new Poke Gear artwork. Ah, oh, I can't fuck. I love it. I love it. I really like those artworks. It's really cool. Um, yeah, so we've got that in here for that reason. Now I'm contemplating, okay? Oracorio or Dedenne? I don't know. It's tough playing both because your bench space, as you can see, is really limited. You only have one spot spare. So an Oracorio kind of makes sense. It is high HP, but I don't think it makes that much of a difference, really. With Zigzagoon running around, I really don't think it does, but yeah. That's that. Okay. I'm going to... Yeah, we need to, we need to be careful here now, to be honest. I'm going to Marnie. Actually, should we Oracorio first? Because if, what I'm thinking is, if we Oracorio, we're still seeing fresh cards, whether or not we do it before or after the Marnie. So that didn't help. I was hoping to get a Slurpee. We only have two. So the odds of getting it on this Marnie are very thin. Oh, wait, no, no. Hold on. Pokecom. <laughs> I can back it up. Okay, awesome. Awesome. So I can actually, hopefully, we can Poke Gear for a Gust here. Oh, but the issue is, is that afterwards, what do we do? We don't have a uh, Pokemon to follow up with. Do we take the greed? Do we greed it out here? Oh, but the thing is, we've got a KO on this Blastoise already, so we might as well, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't be daft, Sean. Okay, fine. All right, sure. Okay, I hear you. Right. Oh, yikes. Not what I want to see. 
Oh, then I give him a better hand as well. Probably. Knowing me. <laughs> All right, at least we get the KO on the Blastoise. So the Lapras probably won't be able to... My screen's going there. Attack next turn? Unless they get another one out, which they can, but okay. Yes. We'll save the bench spot? No. Yes. Yeah, okay, let's do that. So we'll, we'll, we'll get the, the Blastoise, which is good. So that's actually a pretty important component in their deck. So hopefully we kind of just cause a bit of stick in the mud. Not what you want to see off the prizes, actually. Um, yeah, so this deck does actually pretty well against Pikaron for obvious reasons. This Fairy Charm's pretty solid. Um, helping you out on that. Obviously the Dragon's for ADP. And we have Ability Ones in there as well for Mew 3 and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. It has a lot of protection, which is nice. Um, it's just you're not really going to see that be maximized here. You'd rather, obviously, we're not up against a, a top tier deck. Albeit, this is a good deck, so I wouldn't disregard it. Uh, Janine, though? I don't know. Um, oh, they've scooped. <laughs> yeah. All right, okay. Back in it, back in it, back in it. Hopefully something a bit better. I don't, I don't want to be one to judge, all, all things considered, but I really want to. When I play these rogue decks, I always want to come up against the best stuff. Um, because it really shows what the deck's about, right? And how it how it fares. And obviously, it's a very honest idea. Whereas if you see, uh, it's, it's kind of out of my control, really, to some degree. Um, but if you see, you know, yourselves come up against... See, even here, technically, this is not really the type of deck you'll be seeing. But, you know, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll be tame. I'll be tame. <laughs> what do we get? What can we should we get? That's the question. Uh, I'm assuming the Paris, actually, because that's an evolution. And the Magina and Lele, they're just simple bench and play. But the Lele, we have the... We're getting the Lele, yes. Because we have the Fairy Charm here. We have it here. We might as well use it. All right, sweet. And this is cool because it just puts a bit of a limit on the on the opponent's active. Because usually you're playing against... Unless it's Dragapult, you're playing against basic most of the time. So that's pretty solid. Oh, the new poke gets so cool. Okay, let's, let's pass. Let's pass. There we are. Yeah, what was I saying? You get to see a much more, a much better idea of how the deck is going to play and what it's about. Whereas when you see it against um, uh, uh, tier two, I, I, I don't know what would we describe this as. It is a good card, so I, I, I would describe this deck as a tier two. I don't know. Um, yeah, playing a deck like this, it's not really going to give you the best idea, but hopefully. Hey, there we go. Hopefully we can show it off at least to the best that we can. So I want a Cynthia here. But would a research be better? No, it wouldn't. We don't want to get rid of the ordinary rod. Trust me, you don't want to ditch the ordinary rod. <laughs> Things get real sticky. <laughs> if that's what you do. No energy, though, which is a yikes. Um, not going to bench the Oracorio. I'll bench it when we need it. Not now. Now, the weird thing is, if they outrage for heads, they will actually get <laughs> a KO. But that's kind of where we're at which is a shame. I've also contemplated playing Sonya. Sonya seems like a good card in this list. Being able to just guarantee the Magina and Lele, just like that, bang, easy. Or just finding energy when you're lacking the energy. It's a, a Poke Gear is an out to Pokemon and energy, basically. So I think a Sonya, now that I think about it, would be a really good inclusion. Just the thought off the top of the Noggy. Okay. All right, so we actually are going to bench the Oracorio now. Because I'm going to Marnie here and just limit their hand and hopefully see cards we need. We do need a lot, though. Yeah. I mean, sure, we'll, we'll have to just take our losses here and just go for a Cotton Guard. Um, we're still building damage up, funnily enough. <laughs> Which is strange. We've got 90 damage on the board. We've not even really started. Which is good. So that's great. Um, but it's just higher risk each time. And again, if you're playing against a... A Dragapult or something. Easily retreat, bang, put damage on the... You'll be in trouble. You'll be in big trouble. So, you know, we have to take that into account. Which is... That, that's what I was going to say, right? It's playing against a deck that's really not something you'd see on high... Um, in the high tier. You don't really get a good idea of how it would play in the format. So it could give... It kind of misrepresent how it plays. And I think we saw that with my Zerkashi Parasect deck where... Although we played a Picaron, at the time it was kind of misrepresenting one of the biggest issues of the deck which is people just switch and retreat out of it. Like you're, like you're seeing here, right? This is a, a genuine issue with these kinds of decks. Do I Oracorio now? See, it's always a debate. It's always a little debate. Let's Oracorio now, because if we get what we need, we can boss his orders, which would be kind of sick, so. I was reaching. 
I was reaching. We need to hit the confusion. Um. Yeah. Yeah. We need McGear now. Now, is it worth doing a research? I think it is. I think this is worth doing. We lose the boss's orders, which is a yikes. But sure. I think we need, I think we need cards really badly here. Oh, and we just fly into them. Awesome. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So we get to hit this Charizard here. And I think we actually take it out. Because we are hitting 130 again. So that's that's sick. So we take out the Charizard. That's nice. And I'm going to bench the... I don't know. I, to be fair, on the ladder, seeing Tool Scrapper really is a hit or miss. It really is. Sometimes you just don't see it at all for a while. And then next thing you know, it's in a... It's in a pretty... I think it's in most top tier decks now anyway. So bear that in mind. But as I said... I would rather keep it in play because you're more likely to see a Marnie than you are a Tool Scrapper. So that's kind of my, my idea at least. Right, so they're obviously going to KO us. Uh, we have pretty much what we need in hand apart from the energy, but that's cool. We can literally Symphia or a Corio seeing nine cards. Easy, mate. Easy. We can respond, hit some nice damage on the way in. That's good. Now, one, one Tool card I've contemplated putting into this deck is... Um, is it Bell? I'm just going to call it Bell. Earring and Bell, yeah, because obviously we confuse them and the damage comes through, um, which is quite good. But it's um, it's another tool card. It's a bit a bit clunky if you start doing that, to be honest with you. Okay, we actually top decked perfectly there. I'm going to... I'm actually going to attach the Fairy Charm here just to thin. And now I'm going to Cynthia. Yeah, let's do that. Come on, Chief, what are you giving me? What are you giving me? Fairy Charm ability. Is that something that's really worthwhile right now i don't know it depends what they play right pokecon what can that do for me next turn it can do me a solid so let's i'm happy with that i am happy with that all right combo time baby yeah i'm definitely thinking sonya would be a solid move for this all things considered where's the energy there's the energy <gasps> i think i'm gonna be scared there <laughs> I, like, oh, I can't attack <laughs> oh that would have been horrid uh, we'll throw this into play. I don't see him having a tool scrapper. Let's be real. Sweet panic. 130 going in. Damage will build up. You have to retreat, Chief. You got to retreat, bro. Come on. Now, yeah, this is what I'm saying about this deck. There's a lot of support cards you would never see. How? Underground Expedition, Lady. Clearly, they're playing it because they're full arts and stuff like that, which, you know, fair play. Fair play. But just really have to emphasize that this is not going to be what you see on the ladder so if you are impressed by this deck test it out let me know how it goes because for me it's been really up and down um it's it really tends to do well against some of the top tier stuff though which is why i'm uploading it but oh look at that they went for the risk that was a bit of a misplay chief i know because i would have done the same thing <laughs> oh okay okay um all right let's get another oh just the top decks are gorgeous oh Okay, I like it. I'm gonna hold this hand. We've got so many cards. I don't need to throw them all away. So let's not. Let's just hit the combo again. Nice. Look at that. Oh yeah, there we are. Sweet panic. In again. Nice. So next turn, if they don't have anything to throw down with, they flip hit tails. It's it's game. It's game, chief. There you have it. Nice. Game. Solid pretty cool if i do say so myself let's not be stupid actually it doesn't really matter does it like the, the the confusion will go so yeah i'm not gonna bm there we are all right yeah okay here is the list of course subject to change that's an oracorio up there by the way in the top right if you don't if you can't see it, i think you can so that's fine um yeah definitely subject to change um really work around with this um uh, in the way that you think is best I think this works pretty, pretty, pretty comfortably, all things considered. I did mention a few cards that could really go nicely in here. Um, so overall, this deck's pretty solid. It's very rogue. It's single energy. It's got a lot of components that would make this deck very functionable. It's just making sure we've got the right cards really to work around it and make it work as, as best as we can. You know, Oracorio, Dedene, what's your real options? Oracorio is good because obviously we are likely to be KO'd quite often. So Oracorio can really help you search your deck. But when you're playing a lot of shuffle draw and stuff like that, um, it can kind of counter that. So yeah, there's there's things you've got to bear in mind. Pokey Gears again are optional, but I think it's great for searching for your boss's orders and stuff, um, and really digging through your deck. 
um, to really get those gusts that you might need when your opponent retreats, because retreating is something that your opponent's going to do a lot when you're playing this deck. So switches, the whole lot. Um, so yeah, one thing that you could do really, really, I'm not sure, playing a Mr. Mime, I'm talking about the one that prevents your opponent from picking up damaged Pokemon. Um, I, I don't know if that's that's too relevant right now to play, to be honest with you. And it's just deck, deck's pretty tight as it is, all things considered. Um, but overall, this is a very solid, so, solid, solid, yeah. This is a very solid and fun rogue deck to play, so I'd highly recommend it. Try it out for yourselves and let me know how it goes. With that said, of course, do leave a like if you did enjoy, and please do subscribe for more. But most importantly, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.